Mm. It's vlog number 24. Some shit like that. Fucking quarantine day. We're just gonna call it 20 at this point. I know that's wrong. Matt Conley, coming in live. Quarantine day 21. Matt Conley, coming in live. Quarantine day 23, 4, 2, 22. Okay. This is Matt coming from quarantine date number 21. Um, we're out on the boat, as you can see. We finally got out of the house. Well, this was nice to come out here. A place to clear your mind a little bit. Like, <laughs> when you say get away from it all, you know, you kind of literally are. I feel like I just end up saying the same shit over and over. Just got to stay active. Got to keep doing things to make your life more interesting than it is right now because that should be boring. So I haven't come out on this pond in a couple of months, maybe. Which is such a shame since I literally live right there. But I gotta go to school, you know, fuck off. Thinking of ideas for our script again. Thinking about all the weird side characters. Very one-dimensional. Like the, the car kid. I don't know. I won't go into all of them. Actually, yeah, fuck it. What else am I doing, right? Uh, the rapper. Kiss ass. The bottomless pit, aka big fella, the money maker, the fast kid. You remember when you were little and like the fastest kid on the playground just ran shit, got whatever they wanted, got picked first even if they couldn't catch. Uh, had all the girls chasing them at recess. <sighs> I was never very fast. Got that like attention whore kid. I had this kid, like, every time he sneezed, it was like a goddamn earthquake. He just had to just make the whole room fucking shake. I'm always a big advocate of people having their vices, like having what they do to, at the end of the day, it'll relax them, whatever that may be. I'm very bad with it. I'm very unhealthy with my vices because as soon as I get an inkling of wanting to do it, then I have to do it. If I feel good, then I can't stop myself. I'm just so easily influenced by my situation. If someone's like, hey, let's smoke, I'll be like, nah, and they'll be like, are you sure? Well, no, of course I'm not. Let's let's do it. I need some me time just to go through my head, pick through the jungle, and see what comes out. Because I've been putting it off for a lot of years, and this kind of seems like a time to do it, right? We have a lot of mouse in my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, way. We have a lot of mouse in my house. I know that rhymes. It's not funny. Sorry, this is serious time. They are eating all of our chocolate. I'm literally getting in trouble for this. Okay, I don't know how they got in. So we live near woods, right? So I'm guessing there's like a lot of furry animals over there. They have come into my house and infiltrated my snack drawer. We had like a peppermint uh, chocolates. They also went for the cocoa puffs, which were left open. I've only ate the cinnamon toast crunch and that's been sealed. All right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, so there's cocoa puffs everywhere in my drawers with little mouse poops everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no one else saw it because no one else picked it up. Yeah, turns out, like, I saw the cocoa puffs which people had to have seen with mouse poop next to them. And guess what? The cocoa puffs were still in the fucking draw. Me and Jacob are about to roll into the Dunkin' Donuts drive through for a little morning coffee. It's not morning, it's actually like three o'clock, but. <laughs> medium iced coffee with uh, caramel and coconut and two creams. And then a medium uh, iced latte, the uh, coca mocha. Yeah, that's it. All right, thank you very much. It's been kind of a mess in my house. Some shit, some family shit was going on that we had to figure out. It was nice to have my parents actually talk to me about things that were happening in my family because for so long you're young and you don't get to hear anything. And I was still having to eavesdrop about shit. Are you kidding me? I'm 21 years old putting my ear to the wall trying to hear what's happening with my own family. Fuck that. Our numbers are going up real fast. Really fast in the United States. It's scary because no other country is going up like this. Like, we're at a quarter of a million and the world is at a million. We are fucking up we're gonna be it's gonna hit us the worst and it's gonna it's gonna last a lot longer than anywhere else uh so what you got this one <laughs> i did get the last one right no i did but it's fine all right man who am i he's offering free coffee what am i not gonna take it it's, uh, times being as they are you know how's your day going 
guess we can give you a little tour. I got into a fight in the eighth grade in this graveyard. A bunch of kids uh, that were a year above us. Me and my friends were messing around in this little baseball field over here, just wrestling. We saw those kids over there. We we're like, oh, hell, you guys, you guys want to wrestle with us? And then things got serious, and uh, then a light started coming towards us, and we all got scared because we weren't sure if it was a ghost or a flashlight. So we all ran away. I go to church once a year here, think about my sins, think about how I'm not going to apologize to anyone, especially the man upstairs for him, because hey, I'd probably do him again. Mr. My God. Bad Boy over Yeah, I know, Bad Boy. I'm just wondering what the world's going to be like once all this is over. I guess you take the obvious, people are going to be more aware of how dirty things are, and how they can get sick from shit. Things are gonna be undoubtedly different because probably a million people are gonna be dead. It's gonna be, people are gonna be trying their best to like act like nothing's happening. I mean, this kind of sounds messed up, but how long do people try their best for before it's just, uh, you know, they go back to what they knew? I guess I'm saying like, people aren't going to take the lessons from whatever we learn from this. Two months in, people will still be washing their hands after every single time they touch a doorknob. But like, four months after that, they're not gonna be doing shit. Maybe it can go back to normal, you know? It's not like this thing's gonna be, oh God. Is that how disease, this thing is gonna be around forever, right? Booze store, booze store has people at it. And sprites. Spirits, oh spite, sprites. We're not spirits. getting spirits. We're done with cigarettes. <laughs> What's been going on in quarantine life? Uh, we were gonna go to Philadelphia, uh, or New Jersey, but those plans got shut down. I mean, that's kind of on us. We probably shouldn't have been planning to go that far anyway. Because uh, what if there was like a statewide lockdown? Like we were locked to like in New Jersey and couldn't leave. That would be awful. Oh my God. It's like we keep on wanting to pretend this like isn't as bad as it is. It just gets thrown back right in your face every single time. Life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, right? This whole experience has just made me hate bats a lot more. I used to have to kill bats a lot. Like, not used to. I kill bats a lot in this house. My friend would always be like, oh, Matt, they're endangered. Like, you shouldn't kill them. But, like, there's just, like, so many of them. And they're flying rats. And flying rats are just kind of gross. God, I hope I'm doing these vlogs right.